All right, who's ready for a word salad about Pokemon products that are coming out in the near future? Pricing that's probably gonna be semi-boring, but very useful to a lot of people out there. Hi, that's me. He's <laughs> back. All right, let's get right into this. Uh, it, there's a lot here. David, we're gonna have to dress this episode up a little bit, okay? We're gonna, a little bit, a little bit of punch. A little bit of punch. I don't know what you're gonna do. Work your magic. A little bit of, I don't know. Okay, do something. We got it. We have to do something on this. All right, here we are. So this is coming straight from MVP distribution, okay? So market, oh, it's it's never a good sign when it when the when the blurb starts with market notes. Pokemon continues to stay very hot, and with the upcoming Obsidian Flames, th that's the only way that we're allowed to say that set. Just so you know, we've already coined that. It's Obsidian Flames. I don't know what in August and 151, which is English 151, so not Japanese 151. Very, it's going to be odd. Just like when they named Ghostbusters from 84 and then Ghostbusters from five years ago, the same name, and it was way worse as a movie. Oh, terrible. Just terrible. Okay, so they're naming it the same thing, which is different. Uh, September and October. Sets being announced, things will likely stay hot for a while yet. I love the the emotion. Like It's probably it's going to stay hot. I, I probably to everyone's benefit it should. At first glance, Obsidian looks to have similar manufacturer prices as first print qualities produced as a as the past few sets. So what does that mean? So it's okay. So so that okay. So this the, the, let me let's just we we have to deconstruct what what I just heard. It's always it's always so cryptic. So I think what they're trying to say is it's going to be a similar type of release slash price. So 120 130 like it was for Paldea. But I think that people are going to be way hotter on Obsidian Flames just because there's going to be some different artworks. And then, of course, they're bringing the Charizard back, right? But what's going to happen with 151? All right, I want to keep reading this with you, and we'll just react as we read. However, demand is significantly higher. Okay, I think I just... Okay, so I just said that. Demand is significantly higher. Uh, and rise up the market until additional waves, right? Okay, so they're figuring that all the products that Obsidian Flames has coming out are going to raise in price. Okay, so shocker. Or they're going to get sold out. That's that's also just not news. Okay. Contrast with 151, TPCI appears to have raised prices over 20% on average. Is this a raise on top of the raise? Please, no. Obfuscating? What the hell does that mean? David, what, what we need? Is that a word? I obfuscate. Still don't get it. I've never heard that word before. So, stu okay, so I'm stupid, whatever. That's not even a real word. Those raises carefully by changing configuration of the items, e.g. ETBs will have only nine packs. Say again. ETBs will have only nine packs. One more time. Only nine packs? What? Am I hearing that they're keeping the, is this like, they're keeping the price the same, but they're giving you less product and you'll be happy about it. Grab your torch and pitchforks. This is like saying you'll own nothing and be happy. Or this is like saying we have to eat bugs from now on and no and no longer meat. Is that what that means? Am I, l sound off in the comments. Is that what I'm hearing? Is that what I'm reading and what my brain is saying? So this is like artificial inflation where you feel like you're getting the same, but they give you one less strip of bacon. There's also an extreme 35% cut on 151 wave. ETBs compared to Crown Zenith. Okay, so there's gonna be less of 151. So that's something to note. That's significant. I would say that's extremely significant actually because there's just gonna be less of it, which is gonna probably pop the price. However, there are significantly more ultra premiums being made available in the previous set. So David, if we can throw this in there. So less ETBs, but more ultra premiums. So they are making an ultra premium collection box for 151. Pokemon Company has figured out that, hey, people love the UPCs. So let's just make it for everything now, I guess, which makes them less unique compared to crown zenith overall it appears about five percent less supply is being offered in wave one combined with a 20 percent price hike so you're getting less for more right of particular note is that pokemon is again testing the waters with pre-selling on amazon so bezos is going to the moon again i guess or he's at least going into space hopefully he'll stay there this time. So that may account for the missing 5% of market supply compared to previous sets. We plan to post both sets for the first flash sale in the next few weeks with the typical discount tiers and limits per account levels. So they're talking about their distribution. Okay, so hold on, wait, wait, wait a second. We gotta, we gotta talk to Peekaboo real quick. So what I'm hearing is that and I still need to figure out, it, because that's a little bit of a cryptic little wor like word salad in, in and of itself, is they're going to be giving less product for the same price. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like I said, 
sound off in the chat or in the comments down below that's what i'm hearing now could am i wrong i don't know that's so odd so they're more concerned with giving the same price point to the end user and then but giving you less product that that seems and feels like it's going to be a pressure point for buyers for end user buyers because you're getting this you're getting less for the same amount of money i i i that's what i'm hearing and i could be totally wrong i am literally reading this with you on the fly so these are my first impressions of it what do you guys think about that would you guys be okay with that i i'd almost want to understand why there's a 20 percent increase on top of what already was a 20 percent increase unless i'm in understanding that incorrectly but that would mean a 40 percent increase from set to set so am i hearing that right I, I don't know, maybe more clarification is needed. I don't know. Lastly, though not Pokemon, Magic's recent Lord of the Rings. Okay, we know that the ring was just found. That's another wildly sussy situation. We might actually comment on that. This is obviously a Pokemon channel, but for the ring to be found, okay, and then to be graded already, you're obviously not gonna mail in a $2 million ring. So you drove it there? You drove it to PSA? Did PSA come to you? LOTR's set release is smashing about every MTG sales record we've ever heard of. Uh, and yeah, from a from a business point of view, uh, they probably would have wanted to let it kind of uh, go a little bit longer, I guess, right? If, they, if this was all controlled, like if the release of the ring was controlled, you don't want to willy wonk all your tickets right away because you're going to be left with a warehouse full of chocolate, you know, spread them bees out a little bit. I don't know. But more or not, there are a lot of collector dollars being shoveled towards Lord of the Rings right now. It would be interesting to see if that crosses over into the Pokemon spending sphere. I think that, I mean, okay. I would say no in general on that because I don't know what the crossover is. I would say it's like a very small portion of the, of the market where there's real spenders in both arenas when it comes to Lord of the Rings or magic in general and Pokemon. I feel like they are mutually exclusive a lot of times, which means that like they're gonna be spending most of their money in one or the other. So it's like you're either magic or you're Pokemon. And obviously there's in-betweens, right? You can be magic and Yu-Gi-Oh or Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon or all three, right? So I, but I don't, but I feel like the majority of people will, another thing to note, and I'm not, you know, whatever people are in different positions across the board but the packs were 40 to 50 dollars a piece i didn't even buy one and i'm not saying that i had the the facilities to to pull something like that off but i'm not spending 50 dollars looking for a golden ticket i don't need to go to wonka land you know what i mean so that's just me though so okay is there anything left here be yeah so that that's it i i, I don't know i, I just want to reread let me just just humor me and let me reread this part real quick again. Okay. Appears to have raised prices over 20% on average. There's that word again, obfuscating. I, I feel like I, I'm better getting better at it. Those raises carefully by changing configur for configuration. Obfuscating, I bet. I don't even know what the damn word means. I bet that means you get less for the same amount of money. That's just my guess. David, help me. ETBs will have nine packs versus Crown Zenus 10. That's got to mean, that, that, that's the only thing. I, I'm sold. I, I, I've convinced myself. And if I, you know, if I did, then it's true. Sisboo, make it true. Whatever. This might not be new news for a lot of people. This might be new news for many people. What are your thoughts on this? What are we dealing with here? Are we dealing with a mini little 20% cash grab from the Pokemon company? Because that's what it feels like. I need to know more. We don't do a lot of these often, but this blurb seemed like super interesting and I wanted to bring it to the people. Sound off in the comments. I wanna know what you guys, what your thoughts are. And if someone has a better grasp on what's going on or if they're in distribution, then set set us straight. Let me know if I'm wrong. Ops to feel a little litigating. Ops to, I'll ops to see you on the next live or the next episode. Peace out.